Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Washington Pain Network. Today's topic is avoiding surgery for degenerative disc disease. When you look at the normal intervertebral disc, it's 80% water and 20% is collagens and protein. The best analogy is to that of a jelly donut, where the outer harder layer is called the annulus fibrosis, and it does feel pain because it has nerve endings. The inner jelly layer is called the nucleus pulposus. There are no nerve endings. It does not feel any pain. Um, it, the disc itself is a great shock absorber as we walk, jump, bend, and twist. Water gets squished out, and then it comes right back in. As we age, the disc starts to lose water content, and you can start to lose height in the disc, and it can start to protrude and bulge, kind of like a tire that's going flat, as you can see here. Now, what can happen is the outer layer of the disc can start to get some cracks and tears in the annulus and because it has nerve endings that can be very painful 40 percent of the time low back pain is caused from the intervertebral disc this may cause inflammation and irritate adjacent nerve roots so not only can you get back pain you can also get sciatica here you can see a degenerative disc on an MRI it's called black disc disease when you see it on an MRI because this has white it's in its water okay you're losing water here you haven't lost a lot of height but anyway, the studies have been done and they showed that 35% of people between the ages of 20 and 50 have degenerative disc disease on an MRI and have no symptoms whatsoever. Treatment options, there are quite a few. Medications might include over-the-counter such as um, anti-inflammatories and Tylenol. Um, narcotics for when the pain is bad. They're not recommended for long-term use. Topical medications. Uh, that can be simply rubbed on the back as a cream, can be very effective. And then muscle relaxers for exacerbations. Physical therapy can also be extremely helpful. Chiropractic treatment has been shown to be beneficial. Uh, TENS units, which are about the size of an iPod, they have wires coming off that um, end in foam pads. These can be placed on the back and put slight electrical impulses through the skin and help change the way the brain perceives the pain signals. Spinal decompression therapy, as you see here, involves computerized intermittent traction that can help provide negative pressure in the disc and have blood pressure and uh, bl increase blood flow and nutrients coming in um, to help heal the disc. This can be extremely helpful. And then acupuncture has been shown in numerous studies to help with the pain from degenerative disc disease. Interventional treatments, there are several. Trigger point injections just are subcutaneous injections that can help with uh, muscle spasms and aching. Um, intradiscal, there's been some, a couple studies looking at placing steroid medication right into the disc. These actually had very beneficial results. Obviously, they don't fix the disc. They're just there for pain, uh, proverbial Band-Aid, but they can be effective. Now, a lot of times when you have disc disease, you also have pain coming from the facet joints that are in the back of the spine here, not from the disc. So if you inject facets into the, the facet joint or around it, which is called a medial branch block, that can be very effective. And then if that works and wears off, the person can then go on to have what's called a radiofrequency ablation, which is a great treatment. That can give 12 to 24 months of consistent pain relief. Now, if you have sciatica as a result of the nerve root irritation, as I mentioned, the cracks and tears in the annulus can cause an inflammatory reaction that can affect the adjacent nerve roots. An epidural injection can be very helpful. IDET stands for intradiscal electrothermal treatment. That's not used much anymore because insurance doesn't cover it because studies show that it doesn't work as well as we initially thought. MILD stands for minimally invasive lumbar decompression. Um, Quite a few pain doctors still do this. They take some tissue out of the disc, so it helps decompress it and relieve pain. Radiofrequency ablation, as I mentioned, um, can provide 12 to 24 months of consistent pain relief. Essentially, here's the facet joints. These little tiny nerve endings supply sensation to that joint. That's what they get deadened with a radiofrequency ablation's thermal energy. So it's not a disc treatment, but as I mentioned, a lot of times the pain is not just coming from the disc, it's also coming from these areas back here, and that can provide a relief for that. Additional treatment options include regenerative medicine, and this includes stem cell injections, which can either be derived from your bone marrow, such as from your iliac crest. You can get a lot of bone marrow there, it gets processed and then used right away. Or there's now amniotic uh, derived stem cell or fat derived as well. This is up and coming 
and uh, getting more and more popular. Comparison of long-term outcomes for patients with back pain who have a discogram concordant did not demonstrate a significant difference in outcome measures of pain, health status, satisfaction, or disability based on whether or not the patient had surgery or not. Okay, So surgery is not always the answer. Three-fourths of the time, patients are able to achieve a satisfactory level of baseline pain with degenerative disc disease and avoid surgery. Surgery is oftentimes a roll of the dice when it comes to degenerative disc disease. The top non-operative pain management for degenerative disc disease and all types of pain conditions are with the Washington Pain Network. We have multiple affiliated clinics throughout the state with accepting over 50 insurances and providing over 25 treatment options. The success rates on average are over 90% with the board-certified award-winning pain doctors. Visit us online today at WashingtonPainNetwork.com and then call us at 877-877-8556. I'm Dr. David Green with the Washington Pain Network. Your pain stops here.